Welcome to Elon University's 2020 Conferral of Degrees for the Masters of Art and in Interactive Media. I'm Rochelle Ford, Dean of the School of Communications, home to the Interactive Media Program. Welcome families, friends, loved ones, faculty, staff, administrators, students, and especially the class of 2020. 11 years ago, the iMedia Master's Program was born as an intense on-campus engaged learning program. Today, we celebrate the class of 2020's accomplishments. We honor this class for the work well done, and we confer upon them the Master's of Arts degree in interactive media. Just 10 months ago, during the iMedia welcome event at the Oak House, I shared an analogy of how this program is much like the process of becoming a fine teacup. Like a potter, taking a ball of clay, your faculty took you full of promise from your undergraduate programs, enrolled you into boot camp, pounding you and shaping you with skills in video, photography, graphics, and analytics. Later, they placed you into a fiery furnace with the hot intensity of fly-ins where your teams created interactive media projects for real clients in other countries. Then the faculty began painting and glazing you through independent studies and electives to give you unique skills and knowledge. And then COVID-19 forced you into an even hotter remote and independent learning situation where you may have felt lonely and like you couldn't survive, but you did. You survived. You demonstrated to us through virtual capstone presentations that you've got this. You're prepared. And here you are, formed into beautiful, unique, and strong teacups that can be used to refresh the world. So once again, welcome friends, family, faculty, staff, administrators, nod at home if you agree that this class of 2020 has got it going on. Next, Dr. David Copeland, professor and director of the iMedia Master's Program, will share insights into why the class of 2020 is excellent. Every year, iMedia students face the daunting task of learning two years worth of material in 10 months. There's pressure to learn new software and all sorts of code, pressure to create some alien font, pressure to understand personas and how all of this fits into the domains of UX and UI, pressure to actually build a WordPress site from scratch, pressure to live through a motley critique. And if that weren't enough for one semester, you had LeCaf's class. Seven weeks to read nearly every book in the library and discuss them, plus present a pichacucha. Then, to top off your mountain of assignments, you had to complete LeCaf's literature review in about three weeks. I'll bet you can't remember the last time you wrote so much in such a short time. But we also ask you to come up with a capstone idea to demonstrate all the skills and abilities you have learned in our media and to create it in about 12 weeks all while you're completing work in other courses, thinking about and looking for jobs, building a killer digital portfolio, and considering what comes next. Every iMedia student from day one has faced these obstacles. The class of 2020, of course, did the same, but with a new twist. When we approached what is crunch time for iMedians, this group had to do it off campus. The coronavirus sent us all home at spring break. Then the governor issued a stay-at-home order, and the campus was shut down. From 2009 through 2019, every iMedia student has had access to a storehouse of technology to ensure that capstones and portfolios, designs and applications, virtual worlds, and multimedia stories reflected the imaginations and capabilities of those creating them especially in the final weeks of the spring semester. The class of 2020, though, 
could use only what each member had on hand on Friday, March 13th. Students could no longer conduct in-person interviews or gather actors together to shoot videos. They lost the ability to sit around in the lounge, the editing suites, the lab, and classroom and collaborate the way they've been doing since August. A lesser group of students would have no doubt given up, but not this cohort. The class of 2020 found a way to succeed. We know that necessity is the mother of invention, and this group of students, out of necessity and out of their creativity, figured out how to complete their capstone projects, their work in elective courses, and how to put on a virtual exhibition of what they've produced. I know we're not in an auditorium now, but I think it's worth taking a moment, wherever you are, to provide a round of applause for a group of students who've persevered through a most difficult and trying time. You know, the class of 2020 accomplished much. They traveled to Bermuda, Costa Rica, and Cuba during winter term to work with nonprofit organizations who are now benefiting from their expertise in web building and graphic design, video production, and user experience. They did all of this work in three weeks, and that is amazing. It was also a year of things a little less serious. Amoni's ever-changing hair colors, Will's killer impersonation of Professor Walsh, Kwame's generosity of leaving his wallet for the citizens of Costa Rica, Victoria amazingly becoming a local celebrity in Matanzas, Cuba, in less than seven days. Does anyone remember that time that Shama decided he was going to drink a gallon of water every day and long? So he carried a gallon of water around with him? How long did that last? It was a year that Anna, Ethan, and Mila were honored by the nation's top honor society for all disciplines for their incredible achievements as students. And it was a year of romance. Do I need mention names? The class of 2020 is one for the record books. As you enter the workforce, you will not only carry your iMedia credentials, you will be able to proudly say without stretching the truth that you have faced the most difficult of times and overcome them. You will explain to employers that you can work alone or on teams. You can do it in an office setting or you can do it virtually. You can say that you can find solutions using what you have at hand. These are the qualities you possess. All of us who have taught you or interacted with you could not be prouder. You finished the iMedia obstacle course. There is nothing now that can stop you. All you need is the opportunity, and opportunity will come. Way to go, iMedia class of 2020. Hello, graduates. It feels so good to finally be able to say that. There were times when these past 10 months felt like the longest months of our lives, but it actually flew right by. I'd like to thank all of you, not only for selecting me as student speaker, but for your help over the school year. From your constructive criticism, to your encouragement, and especially all the inside jokes and sharing of SpongeBob memes. This program was tough, but I always felt relief knowing there were 29 other students who could empathize with what I was feeling. And although we didn't get to spend the latter part of the program together, I still felt that same sense of connectedness with my iMedia comrades. We've made so many great memories together, and I believe we'll create even more as alumni. But for now, I'd like to look back at some of our favorite moments together. Congratulations. I know all of our futures will be wildly successful, and today is just the beginning. See you in the fall.
Okay, now for the moment you all have been waiting for. Madam President, those who are before you have fulfilled all of the requirements both as to quantity and quality for the Master of Arts in Interactive Media degree. It is my pleasure to present them for conferral of their degree. By virtue of the authority of the State of North Carolina vested in me through the Board of Trustees of Elon University, I confer upon you as a graduating class and as individuals the degree of Master of Arts in Interactive Media, which entitles you to all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Members of the class of 2020, I hope you are as proud as I am today. I know taking on this year-long intense course of study was not an easy decision. Today, you stand having earned your master's degree from Elon University, America's premier university in student engagement and one of America's finest universities in the study of media. In addition to the great pride among your families and friends, I offer my personal congratulations. Today, as we envision each of you launching into exciting career paths, I want you to remember one word in the university's mission statement. The word is freedom. It appears in our opening sentence, Elon University embraces its founder's vision of an academic community that transforms mind, body, and spirit and encourages freedom of thought and liberty of conscience. Freedom, it's such a powerful word that it instills a sense of excitement and fear all at the same time. Excitement that we have the privilege of choice and fear that we have the responsibility of choice. Your Elon education, that transformation of mind, body, and spirit is now a part of you and the choices you make with the freedom that you have. And while that story will be dynamic, my hope is you bring with you the constant light of Elon's values into every choice in your life. These values have served as a backdrop, literally posted in every classroom on campus. The simplicity of its message is powerful. Honesty, be truthful in your work and in your relationships. Integrity, be trustworthy, fair, and ethical. Responsibility, be accountable for your actions. Respect, be civil, and value the dignity of each person. Remember that we are forever bound together by these values, you, me, the School of Communications, and Elon. Today, I charge each of you, as new Elon graduates, to use your knowledge and freedom as the university seal behind me depicts Newman Lumen, knowledge and light, bring the light into the world, the light we know it desperately needs. You are now among the most well-educated people in the world. You will face inevitable challenge in your personal and professional lives, and in those I charge you to be resilient and steadfast like the mighty oaks for which Elon is named. Elon, Hebrew for oak. Oaks are important at Elon they symbolize our community's strength, strength that is now within each of you. I hope you display your diploma proudly in your homes and offices and stay connected to your new alma mater as Elon alumni. You are now lifelong members of the Elon family. Congratulations and long live Elon. Graduates, we are thankful that you chose Elon University for this part of your learning journey. Elon is confident that you are ready to refresh the world with your new knowledge, skills, and abilities. And available to you right now for download is your digital degree. Simply log on to OnTrack to obtain it. Then this fall, we will welcome you, your family, friends, and alumni back on campus for an in-person hooding ceremony. 
and celebration where you will receive your printed diplomas. We encourage you to continue celebrating today at a virtual meet and greet following the initial showing of this conferral ceremony. After all, today marks a beginning, a start of the next leg of lifelong learning that will afford you countless opportunities to use your understanding of communications to make a difference in the lives of your communities here, across the nation, and around the world. Best wishes to you and see you soon.